Hi everyone, come on in. It's time for art with Ruris. I hope you have watched the other video where I changed the texture of a LED screen. So I, I got this idea, what else can I do about it? Some magic effect, of course. So I was looking for a shield prop that meets certain requirement. Yeah. So I have searched uh, at the common freebies place like ShareCG, I look at normal shields, Captain America shields, try a whole bunch of it, and most of it doesn't work because it has a super complex texture that is not in flattened form, or the shield has all kind of uh, complex design with metal rim spikes, whatever bumpy thing, and I cannot switch it off or the object is totally not working at all because it's uh, not meant for uh, that studio. So I, I'm looking for something that is uh, a, a round, that has a round texture. And so that I can replace it one-to-one -one with a transparent rune image like this one. So, well, uh, um, Carrier helped me out and I check out some of the links here and one of it works out just fine. So is this one the 72187 on um, the 3x rounded shields. So I just downloaded this one. It's a poser, it's, it's meant for poser actually but it's okay since we are not using it for auto fit to your Genesis 8 character. Just make sure to place it into your runtime folder when you downloaded it. So runtime, you just have to copy these two folders into your uh, Desk Studio runtimes. So textures it comes with all these five things. So what you should do is go find your own magic symbol you can, but the main criteria is it must be in a png format and it must be transparent in, in between so the effect is nicer so in, even this one i downloaded is not so perfect because as you can see after enlarge it it has some built-in shadows in between this may look good in a flat image but in the render it's not so perfect you might want to spend some time and use some the magic selection tool to remove the shadow but it might take some time so the second step is once you have your own the, the own image you want Okay, you open up one of the texture from the, the shield that you have downloaded. Uh, the purpose we do this is because we want the base resolution. And so you can tone down the opacity a bit. Um, from your file, you just copy over here. Then you just align it properly, resize it if you have to. Okay, once it's aligned, then you can export it out as your, your magic rune layer. So we are not done yet. You still have to create a opacity layer for transparency effect. So what you do is you copy this layer to here, you call it the gray scale. Then in the adjustment layer, you add the black and white. So you turn it into a gray color. Um, but we want to have the transparent part to have the black color as well so what it means is that the transparent sorry the black color will be the truly transparent part and anything that has a bit of color will be visible so 
So group these three objects up and then you save it as your opacity layer. So this just to show you. So the, your end result, you will have one of this file and one of this file. Okay, so once that is done, uh, boot up your Dash Studio. Okay, select the shield from the your poster section of the runtime. Add it in. So this by default, this is how it looks like. So what you want to do? Uh, use the surface selector. Go to surface. Select everything except the front. We'll go to just it's just a trick. Uh, you can try opacity here or just OP from 100% strength. You set it to zero, so this will essentially set it invisible. Yeah, earlier there's a handle that I made. There. Now we only we are only left with the front side of the shield. So yeah. the next step is you want to search for the emission the Uber Dash shader called emiss emissive. Okay, so you apply on it on the front. This thing will turn pure white. Okay, so on emission color, you yeah. Look for the emission color right here. Select the magic rune. For the color, you can give you a bit of a pink or reddish, reddish hint so that it becomes the effect. And the temperature, you can dial it all down to zero. 10,000 for a slightly stronger effect. Oh. Okay, right now you can see the pin of the shield, but something is not right versus the final version, right? So that is why we need the opacity layer. Go to cut out opacity. Just browse, select the file that we have created. Okay, so it's better now. Bump up the, uh, the strength of the color a bit. It's now 50,000. Yeah, now it's about the same strength as the one I created, right? So, there you have it. Yeah, so. You can basically use anything you want, like say the Doctor Strange magic ring and um, the your imagination is the limit. So yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. I'll see you later.